Just tell it straight to you. And this is you my YouTube LL. channel. Yeah, it's a YouTube channel. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and press notification bell so that anytime I get to upload any new video, you'll be among my notifications. Gang, gang. It's been exactly three years me telling you guys to subscribe yeah. to my 400,007 people. Eh? God bless you, y'all. God bless you. Today, as Terence has said, is our day, day two. two. For APA, and uh, I don't want to take a much of your time. time. I just want to show you guys this is just the balcony of where we are. Balcony one. We have balcony. So we, have, we have balcony too. So, right about now, guys, come as we go around Cape Town with you guys. Explore Virginia. When I tell you guys transfers, this is what I mean. This is what I mean. So if you go to the fire, they yeah, pick you from the airport. Once they pick you from the airport, they'll always pick you in your hotel to take you to the destinations you're supposed to be going on those days. So today, I'll be with you guys and I'll be sharing with you guys where we are going. On the 18th of January 2024, I turned to 37 years old and my husband went to bonfire booked my dream destination that is cape town we are in cape town guys and i just want to take you guys around cape town and you guys have to enjoy the same way i have enjoyed my 37th birthday first and foremost glory to god that we actually are we were able to travel down to cape town we don't take it for granted so in day one guys we went to one place i have always seen on on all photos and I, i've always wanted to just get to Check a photo there and you know how much I love color. And now here, seeing it ourselves, and I'll take you guys around. Yeah. This is the book up. Book up is a place where, after the apartheid, um, the South Africans actually wanted to just do color because they used to be limited on colors that they should put on their walls. And this place is a place you must visit if you come to Cape Town. Then the next thing we did on that day, we went to see the seals. Because umai ona seal macho kwa macho iko ndio yapa. The seal actually came out. You only see them in water. Iliruka tulishtuka. I actually touched it as you can see. This is me touching it. So we got this guy and Terence was just funny, 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 funny. Ebu beb sema vilu mtu alikuwa nasema. Roberto, it is Roberto you. You you only take when I say yes. Sasa hapa unakaa kwa mdomo ndio. Kakupiga buso lakini mimi wewe wewe The next place we went to was um the Chapman's Peak. Also at this place ni kama viewpoint. 
lakini pia viewpoint imeomoka because you stand there and you can just view the beauty of Cape Town and the ocean The drive there was a breath taking. Guys, you actually need to visit Cape Town. This is a place you need you need to save some coins and just book with bonfire. Anza kulipia krisi saizi. Alafu ikifika December, kujipatuni kwa me travel for free. Guys, this is day two. This is us leaving the hotel straight to the first place. So we were supposed to see the pe the penguins. That was the penguins. We we're supposed African to see the penguins. African penguins on the on the first day. But because we had so much, and I think we took longer because one, we were content creators. So at every stop, we at least had to create something for you guys, and of course for us. And so we took longer. So this day straight to first stop was us just getting to see the penguins and it was so so the amazing. Another out. thing, you know, I, I always research the, the country that I'll go. So another thing go. I wanted to do is uh, see the penguins. That was on my bucket list as I was coming down here and I was so excited to see them by the way. So I knew I would see the seals, I knew I would see the penguins and definitely I just wanted to see this beautiful colorful place where people everyone comes to Cape Town and take a photo there and yeah it was beautiful Without you on my mind, not even one minute can end up before you come around. I yearn for the days when I see your face here before me. The next thing we did was a straight uh, drive to test wine. That's another thing everyone must do when they come to Cape Town. Cape Town is the home of wine. Wine must umeziona kwa maba ama kwa manyumba come from this place so this is uh, one of the uh, places or one of the wines that i've seen in kenya and i really want to taste it especially the rosé and guys it was amazing amazing this is where we go to shoot the you know how god just aligns things do you know it just and and uh, don't to us that mzabibu is grapes happen your mali your dear creative comedian decided we are not even about to tour the vineyard we are shooting Mzabibu. That's why you actually guys were saying the Mzabibu challenge is officially closed. And I think, yeah, it's officially closed, it's officially closed. So that's our day two, guys. And that's after that, we went straight to the room just uh, to chill. Nani Sisi, to Yanza Kuzura Mall next to our hotel. But finally, had a very, very, very restful day. Jabu Jabu guys, how are you doing? I uh, hope you are amazing. Tunaendelea kufurahia birthday ya mpenzi wako. Wangu huyu. Mm. Oh, lazima ni confirm. Mm. Yeah. Kwa sasa mimi ndiye ambaye ameconfirmiwa. Mimi ndiye aliyepeana mahari mimi ndiye. Ile ile tena birthday and uh, we are still here enjoying. It's an amazing beautiful Africa is beautiful guys. You should take time. Walk around. Travel the world, guys. Travel Africa. 
finish Africa, then you can try others. But yeah, it's amazing. So yeah. according to Joburg and um, we've been to Joburg before. We've been to Pretoria. We've been to Pretoria before too. And what do you think? Does it look like one country? They, they are a bit different. This one looks like its own country, man. Yeah, it looks like its own country. Iko kando kachata structure wise nini like this one is mountainous mm. it is more of nika coastal like flani so, yeah so today is our third day and our third day we have uh, we're going to one of the most famous uh, historical sites yes uh, here hiyo ni mali yani ukiona tu niko hapo unajua ni kwa hapo hiyo ukipiga picha hapo yani ni ya kwanza nika kwenda wapi Kenya Masai Mara KCC Masai Mara, Masai Mara, KC, KC what we enjoy, Masai Mara. But it has seen a landmark. But is yeah, it historical? Masai Mara. Yeah, oh, historical in Masai yeah. Mara, yeah. What's wrong I, with I you? Agree, I agree, I agree. What's I, wrong with you? You're telling me five good things about I, me. I agree, ma'am. Five things about you. I'm going to be a little bit more than I'm going to be a guys. Good or bad? Only good. You said you're focusing on good. No, they're not bad things. They're challenging. Wisdom, man. Thank you. Lamp. We should have breakfast here, bonfire. Lamp, a minute, man. Abisa, abisa, abisa. How are you feeling today, though? I feel uh, so much relaxed. I'm in a pressure. Mom, when I do a pressure, I go go when we are day one of traveling. You're trying to familiarize with the area right now. We are familiar with the place, and uh, we actually have an itinerary. That's the best thing with bonfire. Or a patianga itinerary, so you know what you will do tomorrow, yes. the day after tomorrow. Yes. Una By the time so you leave Kenya, you actually know what you're doing. You're not random at all when you go to the house. Yes. You're not random at all. It's a clear schedule. Mm. So keep your schedule. You're not random at That's what you're doing. And I will keep sharing with you. We will see on your behalf and share with you. But most, that is if you wake up and it's 70%. 30% to consume. I know. You are not able to cover everything because of space, because of power. I know, I know. You know, zingine pia zita kupita. Kapisa. So, as you were telling Terence, too bad we can't be able to give you guys everything. But we can only give you those. The best. The, the sites highlight. that I can't afford not to give you. Mm. But the rest is for me to enjoy in my 37th birthday. And you mm. to come here and enjoy for yes. yourself. Yes, yes. Yes, so what? if you're planning to come here, you can actually check this poster right here. I'm putting it here. I'm also putting the number. Yeah, Bonfire Adventures. Zero seven one one triple two triple four. Yes, and the code is who? Terence oh. and Millie. Mm -hmm. Terence and Millie. Sawa sawa. Yes. So if you do that, of course you get a, a discount. You never know things. You never know things. Otherwise, come with us today as we get to enjoy another beauty of. The Cape Town, you need what? Mother City. The Mother City. So basically, on this day, guys, uh, we woke up and uh, the first place we were to uh, make our stop is in the uh, Cape Town CBD, where you get into the red bus. This red bus you see inside here. What it will do? It will take you around the town, and you will be listening to the history of this beautiful Cape Town. So what happens is when you come here, once you pay for the tickets. Uh, which is inclusive for uh, bonfire they will give you the earphones these earphones you, this bus will take you around Cape Town and you will get to learn every single thing about it so come with us And then after that, straight goes to uh, the Table Mountain. In the Table Mountain is beautiful and scenic. I'm telling you the truth. I think I'm glad I overcame my fears uh, before God blessed me. <laughs> we are finally here at the Table Mountain after learning everything about Cape Town.
Imagine ingekuja huku nikose kupanda hii mlima nikose kuchungulia hii view msupu kutoka hapa juu Table Mountain. Table Mountain is such a unique um, mountain. It's I think it's the only one table uh, it's the only mountain that looks like a table. That's why it's called the Table Mountain. In fact from our second room where we are right now i can actually see it beautifully beautifully inakanika iko hapa karibu it's one of the pride of cape town guys and we are here in cape town this is called the table we are here on table <laughs> We are, in, uh, we are the highest point of uh, Cape Town. <laughs> so good, man. Thank, Thank you. you. So much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning, Mr. Kiwa. Flex. Can you go see? Mulisha makitenge si a couple tuna tamani wa Cape Town. This is only couple gold. Yeah. So this is the thing I need to talk. I need to talk two things. Do you need to work, Kesana? The reason why you need to book with Bonfire One. Unaweza lipa pole pole two. Pole pole. I love to na tantu na onyesha angolingine. I love to una move his side, Ivy. advantages ya kubook na bonfire adventures is ukisha land airport Eh? Do you know how much in a foreign country it is? It can be so tricky for you to get to transfers. Transfers. Transfers ni taxi, especially kama una nini hauna Ujelan mimi our first time sisi watu tulikuwa mtaja throughout, si ndio? Yeah. Ever the first time ever we ever flew out. The second time. The first time at least at least tulikuwa na ka host alikuwa to sort na bundles and alikuwa na gari kwa to picking. The second time is ni time tulienanga Dubai. Little in Dubai, to look at Teja throughout. Mm. At the your do's and don'ts. So, first things first, you need Bonfire Adventures to book your your holiday. It's very, very easy for you. When you land at the airport, they pick you, they drop you to the hotel, and then before even you leave, eh, you have an itinerary. You know the places you'll be going on this day, on this day, on this day. So, if there's anything extra you'll need to add, now, in Kitu, maybe my Google or my own, I'm saying Amanda is actually you can call them and tell them any age. He could have a budget, come make a budget, yeah. You know, I'm being a Munazan Yongazan at how much and considering them booking for you in our cheaper Pasabua and a Julicana places, Kai, he's a city or my funny kitu for solo. Me, when I was growing up, I had about bonfire. I could do at one time, I would actually be their brand uh, influencer and customer. So today we are here and it's the third day. It's one of those things we'd want to do when you come to Cape Town. Island. Imagine that's good also. And by the way, come out to Yes, with South Africa. Kabisa, kabisa, kabisa. Otherwise, this has to be my best so far. Tuko, yeah, what? Could you kapa in memory of Jenny? In memory of Jenny Graf, pioneering mountaineer. Oh, who did it? kwanza February 19th, 28th. Did it? 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 Ebu ni pigi tu yipisha. Jenny Graf. Ita kusoma about ya ya. Oh, nafikiri yao ndio lukujia kupandanga mulima kabla yewe. Sindi yo. Anyway guys, this comes the end of this session of uh, uh, Table Mountain. We'll keep updating you the next. Just get to enjoy the views from this beautiful place. Kabisa.
coming in again for your safety please step away from the sides and let go of the handrails as the flow rotates and then after that after we were done you get back into the red bus which will take you around the other side of town as in you take a whole 360 tour of the town so what happens is when you get in in the morning you go the first uh, 180 you get to land then you go to the table mountain then come back get into the bus and straight into the other 180. So on the third day, guys, we went to the Robben Highland. Robben Highland is the place, is a prison where uh, Nelson Mandela stayed for 18 years. I don't know how I can stay for 18 years in such a, uh, I think it was a lonely place because I don't think people were allowed to get into the Highland because it is a whole like 25 minutes um, cruise. Island. anyway this is us just getting to learn about uh, the whole history of this place nothing is beautiful like what you read in uh, GHC social studies you seeing it actually my highlight was the cruise to uh, the Robin Highland it, we, we were in the best cute um, uh, ship what was what was the name of the ship Croton Croton is named after a lady right Yes. was also imprisoned there and actually, actually died there right mm -hmm. it was so much uh, fun just get, but they got a in history it was so much fun just getting to uh, live or relieve what i uh, read in school so guys i would really like to just to advise you if you ever want to travel anywhere this should be one of the first places you should put in your bucket list reason is Cape Town is big. Yani every day for the five days you'll be here, there's a, an activity you're doing. And you, even if you don't squeeze in your time, unezaparata kuna places ujetembelea. Otherwise, after that, the next day, guys, we went to, uh, for, oh my God, atawachatuniache, hintawambia, on my next video, guys. Sawa? Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate and thank you for coming with me for my 37th birthday at Cape Town, courtesy of my dear husband's pocket and the best leading agency, travel agency in Kenya, that is Bonfire Adventures. By the way, they're the first and uh, last people we've ever used to travel. They're the best and they actually chose. I love that they've also traveled, so they will always tell you where to go for what. We have come to the end of... Uh... I know, exploring the world can be fun, but very, very, very tiresome. Like right now, I am so tired because of the sun. That is how Mandela was tired, fighting for freedom. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> like for instance, eh? I wish parents would afford trips for kids. What? So when they sit for exams, <laughs> they know what they are doing. So for many years of What if like a lot of Korean dudes? But global history period that you become easy. Especially all of Rapanya history and South Africa has a, actually the Cape Town is so rich in terms of uh, history. History and Wakona of uh three hundred and one hundred thousand two destinations. Imagine. But you talk about Robin Island and the way it was it was amazing history. In a man go see a lifestyle. Mimi ndio mu historia. Ah, mimi bara history eh. Wewe jamaa mwenye alishikwa hapa naitwaje? Simu mama mwenye alikufa hapa. The ship that is made. Name after her. Yeah. I sikani majina wazungu but naona najua. Si mzungu. Ni majina najua. Majina najua. Proton. Eh, kwa sababu mshike huyu jina utaisha. Anyway, uh, that has been it for today guys. Nothing else you are doing today. You just straight back to the room. We crossing fingers. We talk to our hotel guys to allow us to just swim for an hour and just chill as we have been. Rejuvenate. We've been just uh, going around and getting to enjoy Cape Town. So today and tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow. Anyway, for today, guys, thank you so much for watching. Book your holidays. See you around.